Hello everyone, Leon X here, and welcome back to another Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment, the Q uh, Gardens drama. So last time when we left off, we were trying to, I think, unlock this door. So let's get on with it. Not a moment to lose. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, uh, crap. Rotate all. Okay, so that and they're almost connected. Freaking A. Goodness. Okay, so damn it. Okay, so get in there. Yeah, just like that. Ah, oh, oh, that was easy. Okay, <laughs> I was all like, Kirker. open, open. Ah, uh, I just love to be so nosy. Albert Dunn. Let's check him. Let's peek in his locker. Albert's locker. Okay, so. Specialist articles on shipyards and ship construction. Albert Dunn has a great passion for shipbuilding and the sea. Refusal letter. A rejection letter from the British Royal Naval College. Ow. So, Royal Navy School of NCOs, Recruitment Center, London. Sir, it is my regret to inform you that despite your excellent results within our entry examinations, we are unable to invite you into the Royal Navy School. Your father, Mr. Montague Dunn, has expressed his intention to entrust to you the directorship of the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. Wow. And it is clear that he would not release you for an entire year of naval training. Please accept all our best wishes for your future at Kew Gardens. Yours faithfully, J.M. Lamarckand, director of the Royal Navy Training Center. God! His father is such an a-hole! Really! Humiliated him? In front of everybody while doing this uh, botanical shit crap, you know? And then now he doesn't want him to do anything. A picture of Miss White and Albert in front of the University of London. And they seem to get along. It's obvious that he has a thing for her, but it kind of sucks that his dad was fucking messing around with her. Shit, man. Martin Hamish's locker. Botanical magazine. A review on rare and exotic plants. Martin Hamish has written several pieces. Mr. General Secretary, recent events unfolding at Kew Gardens oblige me to renew my application for the management position. As I have stated uh, already in my previous letters, I believe that no one is better suited for the post. While Mr. Montague Dunn was alive, I understood your reservation to my suggestions. Your reasons were political, and so I was happy to comply. But now the Kew Gardens lie in disorder. How can I stand by and allow it? How can I leave them in the hands of an experienced uh, people with no motivation? I must urge you to cast your decision as a matter of urgency, so that I may devote myself entirely to the noble task ahead and free my mind from this uncertainty. Mm. Father and I, Q Gardens. Did he just Martin took his Hamish picture? Studied chemistry. Interesting. All right, and now on to Miss White's locker. Miss White's locker. Apparently, Miss White is a capable student. 
Wait a minute. <sighs> Apparently, Miss White is a capable student. So she graduated? Is that it? A draft of the letter that Miss White sent to her parents. Dear mother and father, I am writing this letter with reluctance to ask for your help. My studies and my housing costs have proven to be more expensive than I had anticipated. I fear, therefore, that I may not be able to manage in the long term. I know that we had our disagreements in the past, but would you be so heartless as to allow your daughter to fail her studies due to lack of money? Margaret. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. These jewels must be worth a small fortune. Oh, yeah, they're jewels, of course. Letter. Dear Margaret, I know how your financial troubles are overwhelming you at, at this present time. Please let me reassure you that I could not permit you to remain in such a dilemma. Dilemma. I was born of a wealthy family. I will consider it an honor if you might accept my help. Your devoted servant, Albert. A vanity purse. It is of high quality. Margaret, we were surprised to receive your letter. How could you think to ask us for money after all these years that have passed since you left? And without any thought of us, you have never shared with us any detail of your success at the university, but you choose to do so now? We, supp we suppose you must be ashamed of us, for we are not from the same high class as your new friends. Yes, we are modest people, but you should learn to put your family first, as we at home have always done. And none of us ever compromised their reputation, as it appears you have already with your employer, Mr. Dunn. No, Margaret, it is you who makes us feel ashamed. Your parents. Oh, wow. That freaking sucks. So. There's great suspects here. Okay. Gloves. Waterproof aprons. Everything one might need for self-protection. Do they grow dangerous plants here? Most likely, yes. It appears as though the protective equipment is missing from here. That it? <sighs> yes, that is it. Did I miss something? That's like I missed something here. What is it? What is it? Such oh, masks. masks are generally worn when dealing with toxic chemicals. That. What should we do next, Holmes? I don't know, Watson. Cloak room. The employee's cloakroom. All right, all right, all right. So, objectives. Find the stolen plants. Let's kill exception at Kew Gardens. Find the plant I used to kill Mr. Montague Dean. Use Toby to track the strange from the laboratory. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's talk with you. Mr. Hamish, was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. I'm the only one with a passion for botany. Liar! Yes, photograph with your father. I do not think so. This photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. You're gonna be pissed. <sighs> but you have no right to. Do tell us more about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of 12. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work. But Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh yes, he provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Okay, now on to Albert. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? No, not really. I like ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. You are a liar as well. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best to ruin my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. All right, all right. What next? I think it is now time to go back to Baker Street. <sighs> you know, when this loads, I should just put on the music. <laughs> really, really, I mean really. Toby! Come on, Toby. We have some work for you to do. Let us go to Kew Gardens. Right after these messages. Okay, so archives. Rare plants. Stolen list plants. Encyclopedia, economic science, technology, history, medicine. Here we go. These plants have this. Here it is. Ah. Oh. So, what did I find? Okay, so the following of three plants were proven lethal to humans. Dionia carnivorous, Carlina and Iberia. <laughs> I can't even, sorry, I cannot pronounce these, so sorry. So the realization of the toxic process is fairly difficult for it to requires a particular chemical fertilizer, natural stimulation, and nutrition. The caterpillar should work. 
Okay. Simple on a broken pot. Antique Art of British Museum. Uh, economic science, technology, history, medicine, but let me. Martial arts. Divine Syndicate. The Divine Scholastic, Scholastic Syndicate for Vegetation Veneration. The members of the Syndicate worship uh, Triwan, the god of king. They strive to obtain spiritual peace and release themselves from the material world, so generous donations are appreciated. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Eighteen eighty nine. The scandal at Divine Syndicate Club. The Divine Syndicate Club followers of the God King Trewin. Situation situa situated on 48 uh, Grosvenor Street, Carleton Road, protectors of plants and more, particularly trees, are currently the subject of an administrative investigation. The leaders of this organization organizations are suspect suspected of financial malfeasance. It may be that this investigation will lead to charges of judiciary. Meanwhile, many voices have risen high against this inspection, denouncing the state. In fact, this private organization, which has given as its goal the defense and protection of nature, and which incorporates many persons of, the, of influence, including political representatives, representatives of the opposition party. Here it is. And here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. Do I still have things to... Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There are some letters here. Dear Mr. Holmes, I have finally found the courage to write you, you a letter. I can uh, scarcely find the words to express my gratitude for your kindness. On that terrible day, I believed my life to be ruined, but at the same time, I realized there to be one person in the world who truly loved me and who I loved in return. His name we both knew. He is Captain Jack Crocker. His love has given me true reason to live. Even if we cannot be together in the end, none of this could have been happened without you, Mr. Holmes. Lady Breckenstall. This is where I keep my post. Okay, now onwards we go to let's go to the Kew Gardens. There you are, Toby. Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. Right on. Search, Toby. Search. Yeah, search, Toby. Search. Get on with it, Toby. Yeah, somehow he can magically open the door.
Yep, nobody seems to mind that a dog is just wandering around. Congratulations, Toby. Now, let us see what you have found. This is the bottle that was used in the laboratory. It was buried here. There is still some liquid remaining in the bottle, with gold flakes, a tiny caterpillar. Not surprising to see one in a garden, but at the bottom of a bottle. Strange. Strange indeed. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. How well, strange it is. Form analysis. Let's roam a while, roam, roam around a while. is white. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. Uh, thank you, miss. That is it. been in here before have I the seeds of plant species are stored here well, what do you know it is a bust of Montague Dunn. Oh. I am curious if the marble that we found will fit this place. Right Here on. it is. The marble fragment that we found in the colonial collection room is what they have in common. Found evidence. Watson, Watson, get the fuck out of my way, Watson. God dang it, Watson. I'm stuck! Watson! Get the fuck- what the heck? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this is why- Kew Gardens is such oh. an exciting place. Wouldn't you agree? Watson, how did you get over there all of a sudden? Oh, wait a minute. Let's-
These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. This place serves as Albert's office. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. Colonial collection. Palm house. Water lily greenhouse. Dry tropics. Seed house. Ventilation system. Nursery. A map of Kew Gardens. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. We can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. Nothing here. Somebody's work desk. A thesis written by Martin Hamish. A glasses case. It is empty. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. An award presented to Martin Hamish for Best Grower of the Year. A master's degree diploma. It belongs to Martin Hamish. Anything else? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so I was just here. Sure, if I miss something here, but nope. Something, but oh, well, 
I think um we will head to the device. If I go there, okay. Toby will wait for me in the cab. And then we'll we'll stop right here. That's been dragging quite a while. This place is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone Chi. who could help us. Okay, well, we'll stop right here. And um, I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to subscribe, comment, share. And um, uh, I guess, you know, visit my channel often. And I'll uh, see you guys on another uh, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. Have a good day, everyone.